What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. And I'm back with some foolery. Okay, let's jump into this thing. Why are women, single mothers, why are single mothers out here saying it is a plus or benefit for you to come into their lives and help them raise their kids. Somebody out here, hit me in the comments. Let me know off the bat, what benefit is it for a man? Let's say a man don't have kids. Come into your life, and most of these women having three, four, and five kids. What's the benefit for him to come into that life and raise son, raise another man's kids. Explain it to me. Just explain it. And until then, y'all check this out. You have any children? I have five. Five kids. How old are your kids? 24, 18, 19, 8, and 6. Y'all about to stay man? Yes. Why did y'all get married and have five kids together? At the time, I just didn't feel like he was ready and I didn't want to be obligated. The they're a single mom because, because their opinion is more important than being with the person that they had kids with. That looking for, honey? Financially stable, at least 75, 80,000. Would you date a guy that made less than 80K or no? I would hang out, but that's not like someone that I can see providing and taking care and raising a family with. Your child's father made 80K or more, correct? He made about 50, 60. Okay, so he didn't make more than 80K, but now the requirement would be 80K. Of course, it would have to be. Oh, tell me why. You know what the struggle is, uh, dealing with a man that only grows a certain amount. If you add it up, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be out my bracket, but I just feel like, yeah. That you're requiring more than what you have. Well, I make, yes. Yeah. So let's break this down. She said she now realizes that she needs someone who's financially stable or stable man. But you allowed a unstable financial man put five kids inside of you before you realize, hmm, maybe it's not a good idea. Now... I require a man to make more than him and me so he can take care of the five kids that I made with the sorry dude who can't now take care of the kids. Y'all see how crazy that sounds? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, honey. It's officially stepdaddy season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Let's go to the park. <laughs> in conclusion, stepdaddy season. Big aura, big lumber, big follow through need only apply. Demographic on my show with single moms that are now looking for a different type of guy than their child's father. He was tall, he was attractive, he had swag, he had money. I had a baby by him. So now the single moms are more focusing on looking for this guy, the good guy, the nice guy. But now they realize that's what's most important because they have children and they want someone that's gonna raise their kids by the guy that had the big penis and that was tall, gonna raise their kids by the guy that had the big penis and that was tall and that doesn't wanna be in a relationship. But you are misusing your vagina. Why should Ray Ray jump to the equation and become Prince Charming when you let Pookie have the vagina for chicken? And your vagina should only go to the man that wants the things that you desire in order for you to date a single mother you have to be an alpha you have to be exceptional and when i say alpha and exceptional i mean that you have to be real kind-hearted you have to have a shit ton of resources you have to have a lot of leadership skills you have to know how to lead a community or build one this actually made me laugh a little bit a man has to have all that, and the only thing you have to have is what? A bunch of kids? If I'm all this, why would I want to be with someone who have a whole Skittle bag of kids? Why? I can take these resources and start my own thing and be great over there. And uh, 
you have um, any children? I do. I have four sons. How many times have you been no, married? No, I've never been married. What, why not? Um, I honestly believe that I was never married because I made uh, poor choices in men. How many different fathers? I have three different fathers. How old is your youngest? He's 11. How old is your oldest? He's 23. And all the fathers are black men? Three of them are black. I mean, two of them, two of them are black and one is white. The last one is white. What are you doing over there? <laughs> so the women that have multiple, multiple, multiple kids, three and four and five and seven, which I've been seeing lately. What, how are you looking at this? You just looking at it as just kids or just kids. It don't matter. Cause I always looked at these kids got to grow up. These kids got to go to school. They got to have clothes that have all this other stuff. So what do y'all look at? Because kids cost money. No matter where you go, kids cost money. And people are just making kids as if it's just like eating Skittles around here. Like she just had a bag of Skittles. All different nationalities. She don't know what she wants. So what are y'all really, your real requirements before you have these kids? I think that's where the, you know, the story needs to start. What did you think before you start having kids? Or are you just like, I don't care. I'm just going to have them. Let somebody else pay for them. Mm, I don't know. Shit ain't working out, though. I could tell you that. I find it really stupid when I see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high. But wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman, period, would want the best for her children? So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high, I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. If you want to mess with me on that type of level, you need to prove to me why you are worthy of my time and why you are worthy to be in my child's presence on a consistent basis. So if you come into my life, you should be making things easier, not harder. As a single mom, our standards about f***ing triple prior to, I already had high standards and then I now you bring my daughter into the thing and like no one's good enough. On top of standards, time. As a single mom, we have little to no me time. So if I'm going to invest the small amount of me time I have into someone else and you f***ing waste it, done. You know, you can have all the rules and regulations you want with you and your kids. You can. I don't have to have that with you. I'm not coming into it. I tell my boys, when they, hey, don't get involved with it. Don't raise somebody else's kids. Raise your own. Simple as that. Or go through that mess. Go through it where a woman is telling you that it's a privilege for you to be here with me and be in the presence of me and my kids and help me pay my bills and pay for my kid that's by this other dude that will not take care of his kid. Yeah, that's that's something I'm really looking forward to do. That's my goal every day is to get up, find me a woman that has kids so I can just run out and take care of them. The fathers don't have to be doing that. I'm going to pay all these bills. That is my goal for 2024. You must be out your freaking mind. And what the... Y'all, so, real reason to tell a man you have children, unless you plan on a long-term relationship with him in the future, and he's already in love with you, he won't care. I don't tell people I have kids because there's so many predators out there. I have to be careful and protect myself and my children. I trust you now, so I told you now. That's all you gotta say, and it'll work. Believe. But women that I'll just want to tell people every little single detail about their lives are just setting themselves up to be used. So leave out as many details as possible. If you wouldn't go to a job interview and say all these things and spewing out all your business, don't say it to a man. Okay? Don't do it. I'm just going to leave it like this. That is the dumbest advice I ever heard in my life. You ladies do this and think you're going to keep that good man. All right. You lie to him that you don't have kids. Then you pop out. Oh, yeah. Since you all in love with me now. Look what I have. I have a, a Skittle bag of kids. You want to take care of them? I love you.
That's how stupid that sound. Woo! Oh my God, when are y'all gonna tell me they started growing stepdaddies on trees? What in the devil? Where are y'all at? I need to get there. Look at that. <laughs> Look like her chin got there before she did. <laughs> Um, ladies, why are you putting up with bull They're growing stepdaddies on trees now. And see, the sad part of this with the guys, all those guys, those pole climbers and stuff, a lot of those women wouldn't date those guys. Because a lot of those guys are probably like just rugged men. They like being out. You know, they, they hitting the wood, they chopping, they climbing. They're rugged dudes. So you're not going to see them around and lot of fashionable stuff being in these high you know these bs places and see that won't go on the line with your your lifestyle that you guys trying to you know live by nowadays so all those good men up on the trees like that she says step daddies nah 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 they don't need to come in there no nah. they need to stay up on that pole like brothers don't come off that pole to jump in in the bag don't jump in that skittle bag nah y'all stay out of that and you ladies, um, go go get your daddies. Go get your baby daddies. How about that? Let's do that. All right. Well, folks, that's all I got on this nonsense. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, share, and notification. And also support the channel by hitting a super chat, super sticker, and a super thanks. And it's your boy, as always, Mr. Nobody. And I'm out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.